Hi guys, here on Varem24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone ASUS Zenfone 8. At the very beginning, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the right hole and carefully push out and pull out the card tray. Please note that the microphone hole is located next to the card tray. Then we need to heat the surface of the back core to approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back cover. For this we use a thin plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display or a plastic film from the stationery store. We insert it into the gap between the back cover and the display frame and run it along the length of the back cover, detaching the back cover. So we open the back cover, on the cover we have the flashlight elements, gasket and possibly the microphone. After that we move on to unscrewing the screws using a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or H3O. As we can see some of the screws are different in color so we need to place the screws on a special surface in a certain order so that they don't get mixed up when reassembling. After unscrewing the screws we need to detach the cover hiding the motherboard. To do this we use tweezers with ceramic tips so that nothing shorted on the motherboard. We gently hook the edge in the right place and try to detach the cover. We make sure that nothing interferes with us and remove the cover with the contact pads for antennas. And then we disconnect the battery connector. As we can see the battery cable comes from the bottom of the battery. And we proceed to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screws are a marigold or copper color. Carefully unscrew them and Put them aside. After that we detach the cover with a speaker on which we can see the antenna transmission lines. Carefully hook it in the right place and take off the cover with the loudspeaker. And we can disconnect the connectors of the interboard cable and disconnect the connector of the cable to the charging port. And we can remove the interboard cable. Then we disconnect the other interboard cable connector. And we can gently hook the edge and take out the subboard. Carefully remove the subboard. The subboard has a card holder and a microphone on the back side. Now we need to disconnect the connector and remove the charging port cable. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. We peel off the protective covering and disconnect the connectors of the cables leading to the subboard and to the display. Then we disconnect two connectors and remove the assembly of two rear cameras. We peel off the protective covering on the earpiece speaker, headphone jack port and front camera. And we can remove the front camera and disconnect the headphone port connector. And we unscrew one screw securing the motherboard. The screw is obviously different from the previous ones. 
It is better to put it aside separately, so as not to confuse. Then we detach the motherboard. We find the right place for which we can hook. Looks so that the connectors do not interfere with us and carefully remove the motherboard. Here is the place where the microphone is located. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. Since we have a bunch of cables under the battery, we need to be careful as possible as not to damage these cables. We check the battery by prying it up slightly and look at which side we will start to detach it. As we can see, on one side of the battery is not really held firmly and this also means that there are cables close to the edge. There is no need to act forcefully, no need to bend the battery, no need to push the tool deep into the battery to avoid damaging the cables or the battery shell. And we can slip the plastic film under the battery behind the cables into the middle part and carefully detach the adhesive base. It is better to use a plastic tool to hold the battery, thus creating a gap so it will be comfortable to work with the tool. Okay, we go to the other side and try to leave the battery, if possible, and look on which side we have the cables and also with the help of plastic film try to detach the adhesive base. Also, do not press on the battery with force so as not to damage the battery shell. We don't use isopropyl alcohol or heat in this case because we don't know exactly what is under the battery, so we don't damage anything. This approach takes more time, but it is relatively safe. and we can carefully lift and remove the battery. So that is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.